Crime that could happen to any of us. A check you write to pay a bill or one sitting in your mail or post office box is stolen, altered, and cashed. Our ongoing Better Call Banking investigation is shining a spotlight on a multi-county organized financial scheme. The crime is still happening, too, despite repeated run-ins with law enforcement. Shannon Bacon joining us now with the latest as she continues to pursue some accountability for the, all of this and uh, some protection for consumers. Jen Keith, I started this investigation a month ago, and since then I've discovered the person who police say cashed an altered check has been at the center of several law enforcement reports about piles of incriminating evidence that points to check cooking and other financial crimes. So today I'm looking at what numerous law enforcement agencies are doing about this and what they're not doing. Nearly two months after the Largo Police Department impounded a car packed with hundreds of checks, credit cards, blank check paper, and unopened mail, it was me that notified victims, such as Temple Terrace chiropractor Dr. Pavela Santa Maria. It's, it's very disheartening, actually. My investigation started a month after the car was found when a salon owner called me about a cashed altered check. Temple Terrace police say they have video of a woman named Keeley cashing the check. Records show the car found in Largo is registered to the same Keeley. I've also discovered that months earlier, Keeley and her boyfriend were identified in reports by the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office, which found them with more piles of credit cards and checks. Do you think that the law enforcement, do they seem to be failing to connect the dots here? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think, I don't think that they're taking it seriously. I mean, you find all of this paraphernalia in this car, somebody should be investigating further. So who is investigating this obvious scheme? Let's take a look. First, Temple Terrace Police. A spokesman says they closed their case because the salon owner's check wasn't cashed in Temple Terrace. It was a month after my questions that they finally referred their case to the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office. Okay, the car full of evidence was found in Largo, but nope. Largo PD closed their case, saying they arrested the suspect in the car for the property fraud they were investigating, and it was up to other agencies to look into the evidence they stumbled upon. Pinellas County Sheriff's Office, the two incidents they looked into resulted in closed cases and one fraud arrest that ended in probation. No case into the mountain of evidence. Okay, this is multi-jurisdictional. So what about the Florida Department of Law Enforcement? I struck out here too. A spokeswoman said I would have to contact the investigative agency. Well, there isn't one. So what about the U.S. Postal Inspector? These reports mention unopened mail, and one of the victims tells me their mail carrier was robbed at gunpoint and his master postbox key was stolen. A spokesperson says the case wasn't referred to them. So the answer is no law enforcement agency says it's investigating all of these documents and the people who were found with them. And no agency has contacted the victims or returned their stolen property. Meanwhile, after my repeated questions, Temple Terrace Police finally referred the case about one check that was cashed in Pinellas. And the sheriff's office there now confirms that they are investigating that case. Well, finally. I think you've run out of red ink for your stamper mm. thing. You know, don't, don't. Everybody's uh, just kind of going the other way. You're still on it, though. But what about the FBI? Did you go there? Because aren't they supposed to be investigating banks and crimes against banks? And I have gone there. The FBI is notorious for not confirming nor denying any investigation. But I did reach out to them today. I sent them every story that I've done so far. I sent them the documents that I have so far. And I'm hoping that they'll read them and we'll see where that goes because somebody needs to look into this. Sounds